a complete guide on how to make the perfect California roll. Prepare ingredients. Cut a whole avocado into 1 8 wedges and gently remove the peel. If it's a large avocado, slice the wedges thinner. It is important to make sure that the slices are not too thick, otherwise you cannot close the roll. Tear the stick of crab in half. You can also use cucumber. Remember, there are no rules when it comes to the ingredients used when making California rolls. So, be creative. Spread sushi rice. Place a half-cut nori on a bamboo mat. The rough surface of the nori should be facing up. Take 100 grams of sushi rice and roll it to form a rice ball. Make it an oval or rectangular shape. This way, it's much easier to handle the rice. Position the tip of the rice ball in the center of the left edge of the nori. Now, with your left hand, use your fingers to gently press down the rice in the middle of the nori. At the same time, use your right hand to keep the shape and width of the rice ball. Dip your fingers into the tezu solution and spread the rice towards the upper end of the nori. Use your thumbs to push the rice upwards. Now the upper part of the nori is completely covered. You'll spread the rice towards the lower end of the nori in a rolling motion. Follow these three simple steps. Step 1. Rub both hands with the tezu solution. Place your left hand at the left end of the nori and spread the rice with your right hand. Step 2. Rub both your hands with the tezu solution again. Place your right hand at the right end of the nori and spread the rice with your left hand. Step 3. Dip your hands in the tezu solution once again. Use both hands to spread the rice in the center of the nori. Fill in any holes that you may see. Now, the nori is completely covered. By saturating your hands in the tezu solution, you're preventing the rice from sticking to your hands. Decorate the roll. If you want to decorate the outside of the roll, now is the time, because this is going to be the surface of the roll once the rolling is complete. Instead of fish roe, like this, you can also use sesame, or whatever is to your liking. Preparation for rolling. Cover the roll with a plastic film, otherwise known as saran wrap or cling wrap. Make note that the film must be longer than the nori. Hold the nori like this and flip it. Now the film is situated at the very bottom. Align the bottom end of the nori with the edge of the bamboo mat, keeping the excess plastic film under the mat. Put the mayonnaise down the center line of the nori. Don't forget to leave a slight space on both ends, otherwise the mayonnaise will be pushed out when you roll it. Then place the ingredients on top of the mayonnaise, keeping the ingredients on the center line. Now start rolling. Pull the bamboo mat towards you and with your fingertips, tuck in the ingredients. Keep the end of the nori aligned with the edge of the bamboo mat. Rolling step number one. Continue pushing the ingredients in and keep the roll as tight as possible. Do not leave any open space inside. At this point, the edge of the bamboo mat should meet the edge of the other side of the nori. You should be able to see a little open space on the nori. This space is necessary to close the roll in the next step. Rolling step number two. Open the bamboo mat a little bit and turn the roll 90 degrees. Now the roll is completely closed. Press the roll in with your fingertips to set the shape. If you only press both sides in, the top of the roll is rounded. 
If you press from the top as well as the sides, the shape of the roll is squared. Remember, press tightly so that roll won't fall apart on you. Rolling step number three. Move the roll and align the left end of the roll with the left edge of the mat. Push the rice and ingredients in from the left end. This way, you can flatten the end. Do the same for the other end to flatten both ends. Now the roll is done. Cut the roll. Move the roll along with the plastic film onto the cutting board. Dip the tip of the knife into the Tezu solution to wet the knife slightly. This will prevent the rice from sticking to the knife. You can remove the plastic film only after cutting. You'll find it's easier to cut with the plastic film on. Place the knife in the center of the roll and proceed to cut it into two halves. Use only the tip of the knife to cut the roll. Make sure you do not cut through the plastic film on the bottom. Only cut the roll. Cut the roll evenly into six pieces. Here's a pro tip for you. Every time you make a cut, clean the knife with a wet cloth. Otherwise, the knife will not cut very well. And for this, you definitely want a clean, sharp cut. Open the plastic film. Because the film is only partially cut, you can open the film easily. Remove the rolls from the plastic film, and the rolls are ready to serve. Congratulations on making your perfect California roll.